Let's go ahead and find something else. Revelations, the Demon Slayer. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting indeed. RPG, sure, we can be friends with Kish, or possibly Space, there we go. Thought it was on done there, but apparently it was not. So we have friends Kish and Uranus. So, long before human beings existed, telepathy, teleportation, telekinesis, Powers said it went by too fast. Powers that only gods could harness. Gods named this power Gaia. This is the beginning. So I guess we are gods. We definitely do seem to be in top-down RPG status. This is the look of, you know, every Final Fantasy and Dragon Warrior knockoff out there. Can we open these? Are, th are these chests? Or yes, they are apparently. It's asking us who will carry, so we absolutely are in menu, magic item sort system status. Wow. <laughs> this is seeming like a really, really slow and probably not fun RPG. is our status at the moment. Mm. Level 1, 8 experience to next level. At least it's, uh, seem like it's kind of low numbers in that aspect. Let's see if we can make it to the... oh. Huh? I kind of was assuming that, you know, we came in from this side, we talked to the person, got our sword and our armor. I thought the trials of the Gaia training would be through this back door here, and would you stop walking too far? <laughs> but no, instead, it's just the rest of the town is through the back door. Is the rest of what why even have the two doors? How do I get to the rest of my Gaia training? She mentioned something about like a final test, but evidently that is not so much a thing. Now this would be Revelations the Demon Slayer. Some kind of RPG by Atlas. I will say, though, that at least it's in English. Usually we run into this kind of game, it's in Japanese, because they didn't bother porting it into English. You know, we have so many of these games as it is, but there are so many, many, many more in Japan. And apparently there is a character named Lucifer, whom the townsfolk speak highly of. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm being told that this is 
there may well be a spin-off of the uh, Shin Megami Tensei line. Very odd on these controls. Hmm. Kind of was expecting to be able to go around that corner, but evidently not. Ha. Un aha. I thought that would be swords on the thing there, that maybe this was... Well, this furthered the plot, so this was indeed the place to go. Eh? Wait, 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 what? Take these kids right here to Mount Palo, or Palo. And then monsters are attacking. Oh no, I'm worried about the kids. Presumably still, these kids, right here, I'm going to Mount Palo. And he runs away. Your actions and your words don't really seem to match, good sir. So, um... Well, now we can exit that piece, so... That's something. Seems very, very easy to hold down the button slightly too long and overshoot where it is you're trying to walk to. So I guess let's go fight some monsters and probably not really do anything else because, yeah, big ol' RPG, not all that interested. And we have talk as a thing, so yeah, that uh, definitely lands this squarely in the Shin Megami Tensei line. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I now have a Hecate in my party. And he is apparently not in my party. How do we... Um, um, Hecate, where'd you go? I guess somewhere around here would be Mount Palo. Alright, that was actually, again, as expected, really easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Really? What? One point? We level up, and we have six sta or five stats, and we have one point to distribute among them. So that's kind of really terrible, and another reason I'm not going to play this, like, any further. Oh, we cannot go to the town of Arrow. Probably can't go anywhere else except Mount Palo, and yet I have no idea where Mount Palo could possibly be. Let's get Hecate into the party, see what he can do. So 
<laughs> well, it's kind of weak, but I guess that is to be expected, since it was the very first enemy we ran into. And it can cast it things. Good to know, I suppose. So we are just about to die, so I guess we will keep playing until we get murdered. Wow, it's so just one ex one stat point per level up. That is terrible. That, that is the thing that should not be in an RPG, especially an expansive one. And hey, we randomly found Mount Palo. Hey there, Mr. Guy abandoning the kids. Who no longer cares about the kids. Yeah, he really did just want to get away to Mount Palo. <laughs> yeah, let's, um... Kill Blue. What are, what are the... Just, just freeze magic, I guess. Do I have any magic? Oh, right, I have the one spell that I just learned. <laughs> Okay, so we will burn it and then freeze it. Okay, or just, you know, it will already be dead after we... <laughs> wow. Okay, entire party slain. Total party kill. We ended up in what looks like a spa. Which is back in the initial town, I can only assume that's the inn over there, which we didn't even bother going into before. So, yeah, that's, um... This has been Revelations, the Demon Slayer. Looks like a rather expansive RPG, probably very nifty kind of stuff if you go in for this kind of lengthy RPG. <laughs> don't really have the time or patience for this kind of thing anymore myself, but that's just me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that um, this one probably is equally good to the other SMT series games. I know that's very, very long-lasting series, uh, I think since the Famicom days, and, you know, there's been so many, so many, like there are spin-off games from the spin-off games from the Shin Megami Tensei series, so it's very in incredibly expansive. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're, we're done here. Not really sure if I recommend this one or not. Didn't really get much of a flavor for it as it was. 